And now I have the honor to invite His Excellency Ismail Satakukli, Vice Minister of Min uh, Vice Minister of Ministry of Interior of Turkey, to uh, deliver an address. Chatakle. <laughs> Your Excellencies, Ministers, UN representatives, and dear participants, I greet each of you with respect. It is gratifying to me to meet with you to deliver Turkey's official statement. In Turkey, we are getting global documents as a primary reference document while establishing our disaster management and disaster risk management systems. In fact, we are working to develop models that will go behind documents and to implement projects. In this session, I want to share the work we have conducted in Turkey in line with the objectives of Sindai framework. <coughs> the third United Nations Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in March 2015 was the most important event in the recent past. The framework roadmap for disaster mitigation was created by this conference for the third time in history. Since the adoption of the Sindai framework documents for disaster risk reduction, much have been carried out in the field over the last four years. Estimate, ladies and gentlemen, within the scope of the seven Sindai framework global targets in order to renew disaster risk reduction terminology, AFAT has presented its revised to open-ended working group on behalf of Turkey and EFDRR. Critical contribution have been submitted on the EFDRR roadmap by integrating the available lesson extracted from the Sindai framework. Sindai framework calls for an increase in number of countries with national and local disaster risk reduction strategy by 2020 in global target E. As Turkey, we are working on Turkey disaster management strategy documents and Turkey risk reduction plans in order to achieve this target. Disaster risk reduction plans of Turkey include answer to what, how, when, and who question in disaster risk reduction activities on national and local level. Based on gathering disaster risk knowledge, these plans aim to determine the risk reduction activities according to priorities and also ensure coordination between institutions and avoid duplicate investment in doing so while they cover all present and possible disaster risks. They also set forth the basic for legislation, technical regulation, capacity building, and implementation. The stakeholder of disaster risk reduction plans are the central and local governmental institutions, private sector, academia, NGOs, media, families, and individuals. Distinguished participant, as it is well known, taking precautions before disaster is the most important part of disaster management cycle in terms of preventing loss of life and property. To this end, adapting a risk-focused and integrated disaster management approach is, is of great importance. Also dealing with all phases of disaster management cycle separately is vital. Local authorities, therefore, have significant responsibilities in making our cities more resilient. As AFAD, we encourage our local authorities to work on raising disaster risk and become more resilient to disaster by joining Making Cities Resilient campaign of UNDRR. <clears throat> With this opportunity, we would like to congratulate the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction for the change in the acronym from UNICDR to UNDRR. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Turkish Disaster and Emergency Management Authority has supported life 58 countries in five continents. AFAD has delivered emergency humanitarian aid to these countries. It has conducted search and rescue activities. It has provided in-kind assistance sent fire extinguishing aircraft where needed and carried out wounded and patient evacuation. For example, AFAD is helping more than 1.1 million people in the safe zone established in the region of Olubraş and 
the Euro freight shield in Syria. It meets the needs in cooperation with local councils in areas such as food, health, and education. As a result of these activities, over 321,000 Syrians have returned voluntarily to safe areas from Turkey. Turkey's humanitarian aid activities are increasing every passing year. According to 2018 Global Humanitarian Relief Report, Turkey is the first among the countries with humanitarian aid in the world as a result of humanitarian aid activities of $8 million. Since the establishment of AFAD in 2009, our country's approach to this Resistors have been in the form of risk management. AFAD in Turkey implementing the integrated risk-based disaster management. Distinguished participant, in order to prevent the adverse effect of disasters around the world, we should focus on pre-disaster phase. The world's resources should be channeled not only to disaster relief, but also disaster preventing and risk mitigation activities. Disaster risk mitigation activities should include the most vulnerable groups of societies, such as people with disabilities, refugees, and the elderly. We believe that human-centered, human right based approach should be widespread worldwide in disaster risk management. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank each of you for listening to me. I believe that the global platform will be beneficial for all stakeholders. Thank you.